What's up guys? Here we go with another video review. This time we are doing Bakhan 2012 exclusive Junkion Shattered Glass Junkions. Um, this guy came in a package of three. Um, there's this guy. This is like a standard Junkion. Um, there's Retgar and there's another like a standard uh, Junkion I think with a different um, head. They're all the exact same figure except for the head. Um, right now I have Retgar riding the other one of these. Um, so this is kind of guy I don't know what I'm going to do with quite yet. Probably have him standing in the background or something uh, in vehicle mode or in uh, robot mode. Haven't decided yet, but as of now, this guy is just kind of hanging out extra. As you can see, he is a motorcycle, and he does fall over. Uh, held up by a kickstand. So if we come over here, you can push the kickstand up and out of the way for a second. It does roll. Obviously, you can't really let him go where he falls. Um, really cool purple paint job. The standard ones were like red and yellow kind of colors. Um, red car was like more of like a dull color. The Junkion in the Generations line was a kind of more vibrant red and yellow. And the you know, Red Gar was more like a like an orangey and a dull, like a bright brown. Kind of hard to explain. Uh, but this guy is really cool. Purple, he's got these kind of circuit board white lines, Autobot symbol. Um, this is going to be his chest and there's another Autobot symbol there. Uh, he's got a license plate with nothing on it. Begging for a sticker. Surprise repo label. Repo labels doesn't have one. So probably do. Probably check that out actually. Um, but yeah. He's really cool. Yellow kind of grill cockpit with the rub symbol. Yeah, we got it to work this time. He is a Autobot, even though Shattered Glass Autobots are bad. So yeah, let's transform this bad boy. So first things first, we're going to take the see the tailpipe and the rim. That's actually his weapon. So you kind of gotta without damaging it, pull it off. And I didn't get the clip. Awesome. Clip fell off. If I can get the Clip. Okay, sorry. It is on a, I think, three millimeter clip. There we go. And to transform that, you just straighten it out. And then you rotate one of these blades, and they all kind of spin out. And you can, I'll show you later, but you can clip that onto his back when he's holding it. You can just fold that clip out of the way, but set that off to the side. Coming back to this guy gonna do is pull the wheel out it's got a peg here and there's a hole in there and then there's another peg here and another hole there so you're gonna peg that in there and you kind of want to there's a bar in the middle here and then there's two pieces on the other side so you separate it at that and then you kind of just accordion it out and the license plate will fold up out of the way too but this is actually his foot you can just go ahead and spread it out for now. So you just, and then you pull off the front section, accordion that out, and then this is the front. There's in two halves, or the legs are in two halves. So you want to come in here and push them together until now they're one. Till all are one. Come over here, rotate the leg out. And what you want to do is pull this section upwards, and as you do, the handlebars close in on themselves automatically, which is pretty cool. Same thing over here, you bend it, turn it around, and you have his legs basically done. Now what's cool is, since the Junkions are made out of junk, they aren't exactly symmetrical or, or everything isn't exactly straight, so the legs are kind of off balance and one's longer than the other and that's actually done on purpose kind of see how his waist is kind of wobbly that's actually the way it's supposed to be which is actually pretty cool because he does sit, stand perfectly level perfectly fine it's just a cool little touch so next one you want to do is rotate the chest piece 90 degrees till it's forward come back here and you separate the arms and they're on these hinges here 
so they kind of fold up on an angle. And when you lock them back together, there's a peg here, and there's a groove in here, and you pinch them together right there. Um, same thing with, and then when you fold the shoulder part in, there's a peg and a hole, and you pinch them together. And then you kind of pull the hand back and away, and there's a, another peg here, and there's a hole back in there. So when you fold it back up, that's how it goes back together. So when you put these guys back together, it ain't easy. And it definitely needs to be cheesy. So fold the arm back out and then rotate at the wrist. Keep his hand straight. Same thing on this side, just watch out for the... Kind of want to get the hand open first so that the kickstand doesn't get in the way. You want to rotate it around, bring the arm around, rotate at the wrist. This is, by the way, the exact same transformation for Rekar and Junkion. And then you want to unpeg it. No, not the whole thing. Stupid thing. Eh, my mistake. You don't unpeg it from there. That's where the bull joint is. You want to unpeg it from here. It just kind of like sits in there. And then this whole wheel is on a bull joint. And you're, there's a... Hard to see, but there's a nub right there on his shoulder. And then there's a groove in the wheel, and you just kind of sit it on there. It doesn't lock in or anything, it just kind of sits. Stand for me. Shoulders don't lock in totally tight, but good enough. So last but not least, pull up the... Bring forward the head. And there we have... BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass Junkion. Now his light piping, which I want to show off because it's also very cool. I'm picking a lot of figures with cool light piping. It's got this cool yellow. And kind of because the plastic is thick, the plastic is a little bit thick, so when the light goes through it, it makes it look a little bit more orange. But that's actually the color it looks. It does look a little bit orangey. Very, 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 very cool. Totally dig this guy. These guys sold out, I think, faster than any of the other exclusives. They were expensive, though. I think I paid 180 bucks for the three. Which isn't too bad, because I didn't pay to go to the convention. <laughs> so, let's come around here. You can see, same way with Rekar from the G1. He had the two wheels on the sides of him. Which is cool. And if you look right here, there's a clip point. So you can take... You want to straighten it out. You can peg the weapon onto his back thusly. And you can kind of position it you know, to the side if you want or however you want to have him. Dun, 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 dun. You can also have him obviously hold it. So I like to fold the clip out of the way. And then you can just kind of jam it in his hand there. Make sure the spokes are out. Make sure everything's straight. And there he is with his weapon. It's totally awesome. If you have um, either of the other of this mold, the Junkion or the or Rekar from Reveal the Shield, it is the exact same mold. Do you have to go out and get this guy because of the mold? No, because he's the most expensive figure in that mold there is. Do get your hands on Junkion or Rekgar. Uh, if you had to pick one, I'd say Rekgar, but Junkion is very, very, very easy to find, even now. He was in the last wave of generations besides Fall of Cybertron figures. So like the regular generations with um, Sky Shadow. So he is, I still see him in the stores now. So he shouldn't be hard to find. So I would definitely at least grab that guy. But as far as articulation, his head's on a ball joint, full range of motion. Shoulders are on ball joint, so 360 degrees. Just watch out for the... See, it comes off pretty easily. Just watch out for the kickstand. Same thing you on know, both sides. Waist, full articulation. A touch of an app crunch. Full, nah, full on the knee because of the transformation. Nothing forward. And then feet. If 
throw it in back. Um, even though he's lopsided because of his legs, again, that's on purpose. Totally stable. Stands. Well, unless he wants to dive bomb himself, he does tend to stand perfectly fine. Even when this part comes out. Yeah, this will come out even if you start posing him, but like I said, it's no big deal. It doesn't click in or lock in or anything, it just kind of sits there. But if you can get a hold of this guy and you are into shattered glass, and I know a lot of people aren't, but if you are and you can get a hold of him and you don't have him already, I would say go for it. Totally awesome. But if you're not into shattered glass, definitely get one of this guy. For monetary reasons, I would say, Junkie on in the Generations line. But Rekar is also equally cool. So there we have Bakan 2012 Shattered Glass Junkie on.